Hello, wherever you're watching me from, uh, welcome back to uh, today's video. Now today we're going to talk about uh, capacitor, uh, an experiment on how to charge and discharge a capacitor. More of the information about a capacitor, the notes about electrostatics, what a capacitor is, uh, you can In, uh, now let's start. Capacitors are uh, used in different ways in tuning, in radius, uh, can be used in smoothening, uh, that is during rectification, uh, can also be used in uh, timing when connected to the uh, LDR because uh, they charge and discharge at regular time so they can be used in uh, timing. Now uh, many more uh, uses of uh, Capacitor, as I've mentioned, you can able to find from our website. Now, uh, capacitors come in different capacities uh, with different ratings. For instance, uh, the storage of this, this is uh, a thousand microfarad and the operating voltage is uh, 35 volts. You can able to see this. It doesn't matter about the size, uh, as you can see, this is uh, a thousand volts. Uh, sorry, a thousand microfarad with a operating voltage of 16 volts. Uh, let's see this one here. So this is 2200 microfarad. The operating voltage here, operating voltage here is 25 volts. And uh, there's another one here. This is 3000. 300 microfarad with operating voltage of uh, 25 volts. So the one that I want to use for our investigation uh, is this. That is a uh, thousand microfarad with operating voltage of uh, you know 16 volts. This is the circuit we're going to use uh, for charging a capacitor. So we're going to look at charging and discharging of a capacitor. The first part is charging. So we're going to need uh, a load. So for this case, we're going to use uh, a resistor, a fixed resistor here. This is the capacitor, and then you know the voltmeter is going to be there to check on uh, you know, the capacity or the voltage of uh, just to show that it is charging. Uh, we are going to have the power supply, and then during the charging process, we are going to have the load. Uh, there is no power supply now because uh, by now the capacitor must have been charged and it is having uh, some voltage across it which is going to produce as it discharges that voltage will decrease so for this circuit also we may need uh, also a voltage voltmeter uh, to show that capacitor is discharging now charging and discharging of a capacitor takes a uh, uh, very very short time that is in seconds and um, if we charge a capacitor by this method here let's say once we just connect to the power supply uh, most of the time it can charge maybe up to 63%, about 63% uh, of its full capacity. So we can always use this to find, to know how much time it needs, if let's say we don't have a voltmeter to, to confirm that. So how much time a uh, capacitor needs to, you know, to be full, we it's given by this 5 RC, where RC is the time constant, so we just need to find that time constant and, and do it five times. So, for this capacitor that we're going to use, uh, this capacitor, uh, oh, we need uh, the, the, the resistor we're going to use is a thousand ohm resistor. resistor so the R here means the load resistor that is a thousand and the capacitor that we are using has a capacity of uh, has a capacitance of 1000 microfarad that is uh, 1000 microfarad so that will be five times a thousand 
times a thousand microfarad is 10.86 or that is just uh, one over a million so this cancel this this cancel this cancel that one two three one two three so that means the capacitor will take approximately 5.0 seconds to get charged so that is very very short so let's uh, let's start the practical and see uh, approximately if that will give us what we have calculated so we have the power supply uh, we're going to use the dc power supply uh, we have the connecting leads this is the 1000 ohm resistor this is uh, the 1000 microfarad uh, with a operating voltage of 20 of 16 volts and then we have the voltmeter here which is going to help us uh, you know to confirm uh, if there's any charging or discharging of the capacitor Here we proceed as follows. Um, so, the power supply here we're using the dc as you can able to see we have connected uh, we have the fixed resistor here the capacitor here uh, we have uh, the voltmeter which is going to measure the voltage across uh, the capacitor as we charge it so as i mentioned earlier charging and discharging of a capacitors occurs very fast so it's going to take a few seconds for it to charge and then uh, once i switch off the power supply the discharging will automatically start and will be able to will be able to be recorded by the voltmeter which is here so let's start and see i've uh, i've put uh, the power supply voltage up to 15 volts uh, Okay, practically, theoretically, we expect that uh, this voltmeter at uh, after maximum charging, uh, it should read the same voltage as that. But then uh, that does not always occur. So capacitor is not always charged to the fullest. So if that is 15, uh, it may take time for it to reach uh, the same 15 voltage. Uh, if we're using uh, dry cells, then it could be so easy but then for now let's use this so let's start look 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 10 11 13 14 this is how many seconds 71 mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. 14.8, 14.87, that's the maximum. Now see what happens. As soon as I switch off, that means I'm going to discharge. So that is 14.88. As soon as I switch off, it will start discharging. As soon as I switch off, it will start discharging. Let's see. 14.88, look at that. You can able to see from the video how long it takes to charge or how long it takes to discharge. Look at that. And this is the voltage that is now decreasing. Remember that power is now off. This reading here is across the capacitor. 
which is decreasing, that is discharge of a capacitor. Power supply is now off 